Hello guys and welcome to this uh, basic PHP programming tutorial. My name is George and in this tutorial this is the second part of a uh, registration and login series in PHP. And in the last video basically we created our database and we made a table with a username, password and email uh, fields and ID of course. So basically what we're going to do in this video, uh, we're going to, uh, over here we're going to input some username, some text password, for example password and an email just like that. Just click on submit and we will see that information in our database just like that. Uh, the only difference is that uh, the password is being encrypted so we're going to see how to do this and uh, this is a really more secure way uh, to handle uh, user registration so our database is going to be more secure so now go ahead and uh, create a file called register.php I have it over here in this folder register.php and I have all this code and basically over here the first thing that you need to do you need to create uh, your HTML form just uh, go ahead pause this video and copy this code we're going to use the post method and we're going to post this information in this very same file uh, you can change uh, the password to uh, password type so you will see that um, basically the password will be like encrypted or so so it will be safer in theory and let's go ahead and write the code so basically what I did here is uh, two functions one connect function because uh, we need to get a database object that allows us uh, to connect the database and to make some queries and I also make a register function uh, which uh, we will be using to register our usernames so go ahead and the first thing that you will need to do we need to create this function and basically we're using a PDO object and this object is used uh, for uh, my SQL connections or Microsoft SQL Server this is an object that makes uh, database connections uh, more secure and easy to use so just go ahead and um, create a function with these uh, two variables uh, the database user and the password and type this this line over here what it does is that we create this variable that is basically the PDO object that is uh, the connection to the database and the first parameter we need to uh, specify uh, that it is a MySQL database and that the host uh, is localhost in this uh, in this case because I have the database on my own um, um, on my own computer as a, as a web server and the database name it is my database and then in the second and third parameter add, add the username and the password to that database as we created them in the last tutorial. After that return the, this object or in case this fails return false and uh, display the error uh, with the echo E. This will be a PDO ex exception so don't forget that and this is the first function to connect. So then we're going to create a register function in which uh, the parameter is going to be that uh, database connection object, that PDO object that we can get uh, through here and we will capture the information from our form in HTML so first user and then type in mysql real escape string and this basically is a, a secure way to uh, prevent a uh, MySQL injection be, um, uh, because uh, when you type uh, MySQL injection for example or equals one or something like that um, basically this function escapes all the uh, all text so that won't happen and uh, inside here you can use the, the post uh, variable to get the username from the form and you do the same with the email but in the password we're using the SHA1 method uh, function to, to encrypt this password uh, with the SHA1 algorithm and this algorithm is basically really really secure it's better to use than MD5 this is also another uh, option but uh, it will be better to use SHA1 
so go ahead and use SHA-1 this is one way encryption, there is no way back so when we are going to validate our login we need to encrypt the password again to see if it matches so go ahead and do this and you will be safer uh, in your database and preventing also MySQL injection so right now we are creating a query we insert into users uh, the username, the password and the email these values, the user, the password and the email that we got uh, from our form after that we begin a transaction this is uh, exclusive from the PDO objects we execute the query and we commit and basically these two lines over here we are beginning to a transaction with the database uh, so that means that we're going to execute queries and all that then we execute our query and finally we commit so we close our connection and uh, we said that the commit was successful or you can erase that if you want and uh, the, all, as always this must be between try and catch in case that uh, something uh, goes wrong uh, but nothing more that is very simple so these are the two basic functions uh, go ahead and copy them these are really uh, interesting functions or how to connect to a database and right now uh, over here we have this uh, if is set and this means that we're asking the PHP uh, file that checks if uh, something has been posted by using the post method uh, to the username and the password and if we find nothing so we will not register a thing because we will have no data to uh, make uh, the user a registration but if we do that means that something has been submitted uh, to this file and so we need to create our DB object uh, by connecting to the database using our username and password and if that DB object uh, results fine and it is not false uh, so that means that we returned uh, this value over here we will register the, the user by using this function and then you can type in an echo user registered so go ahead and save this again and you can try it out um, for example username uh, another password and the email whatever we're not really validating the email or double uh, password retype or something so just click submit and basically with that uh, you can check this out again and you will see that we added in another username uh, with an encrypted password so this will be safer uh, so I hope you guys like this video um, you can check out the code over here I will leave this uh, so you can uh, pause this video and copy the code basically this is the strong part the function the connect function and the register function and you can check out the PDO object uh, on internet it is really really interesting way to connect to databases so I hope you like uh, you guys like that and well if you like this video don't forget to click the like button and you can subscribe to my channel if you like so and in the next video we'll be making uh, a login form so we can check out uh, if the if the obviously the I'm sorry for that if the, if the username can log in into a page checking out that from the database so I hope you, like, you guys like that and see you later bye bye